everybody this is Tony Knott San Francisco Bay Area and wine country realtor today I'm going to take you through a beautiful TIC unit right here in the Mission Mission Dolores neighborhood it's absolutely beautiful tons of light three bedrooms two baths it's really spectacular it's part of a two unit building here on Guerrero Street so let's go on in and take a look Okay, so let's take a look at the exterior neighborhood here. We're on Guerrero Street at 16th. Sorry for the construction, there's some road work happening. And um, Guerrero is uh, in the Mission, Mission Dolores neighborhood. And 16th Street is one of the uh, primary retail um, streets that runs through the Mission along with Valencia and Mission Street. Let's go on in and take a look. Here we are at 426 Guerrero Street. Okay, so this is the top floor unit of a two unit building here on um, Guerrero Street. This is a TIC, which is a um, tenancy in common. If you're not familiar with that, just uh, reach out, I'll let you know. Look at that beautiful stained glass window at the top of the stairwell. And when you get up here, you come right to this really large landing larger than a lot I've seen in San Francisco. And to the left, let's start off in front. We've got a really nice front bedroom here. Those windows were redone recently. So this could obviously be a bedroom or an office space. That's Guerrero Street down below. Just to give you an idea of the space here. Off to the right, a really large living area. Really nice, a lot of space. This connects with some parlor doors here. I'll back up so you can take a look. Those parlor doors slide. And this is staged as a dining area, but this could certainly be a bedroom as well or any type of other space. I lived in a home very similar to this, almost exactly the same footprint and layout. And um, my roommate at the time, this was about 15 years ago, had made it a music room, which was really fantastic. It was, he had a drum set in there, probably about 10 guitars. Um, you know, it was just a really fabulous space. So that's one idea. Could be a playroom if you've got kids. So then we head down the hallway and to your left, you've got another bedroom. It's a large bedroom. You've got a king size bed there. So to give you an idea of the space, Closet to your right. Okay. Just across the hallway, you've got a half bath. Another closet, that's a linen closet there. Another hallway closet. And then you've got another bedroom here, a third bedroom. Again, king size bed, so you've got a lot of space in here. And you're on the top floor, so you do get a lot of light in here throughout the entire unit, really, even though you're close to a, your neighboring building. Then you've got a full bath with a soaking tub. This has been remodeled. And you've got another second full bath. This with the shower also remodeled. At the end here, at the rear of the building, um, you've, this could be a formal dining room if you wanted it to be. It's uh, staged again as sort of a living space, a living area, a living room, which is fine. Might make sense to make it a dining room as you've got your kitchen right here. Now the kitchen has been updated as well. All of these updates were done with permits. Look 
how bright that kitchen is. It's a beautiful day here in San Francisco. It's sunny. It's almost 70 degrees. I mean, it's just, it's, it's spectacular. Washer dryer here in the uh, kitchen. You've got a little sort of nook there for, you can make it an eat-in kitchen, breakfast nook. And this is kind of nice, this cutaway in the wall, so that if, if you did have guests, you know, you're not here alone in the kitchen, you can easily interact here. And then you've got a nice pantry over here as well. You could probably build in some shelving there, make it a really great pantry. Then outdoors, you've got a beautiful deck that's been also redone. Really nice. And then you've got this beautiful yard in the back. It's uh, some stonework down there, some uh, jasmine growing. I don't know what kind of tree that is, but um, and you've got some, it looks like a, a lemon tree, some citrus, and uh, some various uh, plants and uh, succulents back there. Okay, so let's take one more walk through the unit to get a sense of the scale and the size. It, um, this property is 2,166 square feet, so really large really significant living space feels really roomy and you know this is a very uh, traditional san francisco style uh, home you know it's kind of that railroad style um, long hallway bedrooms on either side okay so let me give you some details about this property we're at four Kind of borders the Mission and Mission Dolores neighborhood, so it's really a prime location. You've got so much right out your front door. Anything is walking distance, shopping, uh, dining, entertainment, great clubs. Uh, Dolores Park is a couple blocks away, so it's really just a, a fantastic ideal location. This property is three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and this is the top floor unit of a two unit building here. Uh, it is a TIC, which is a tenancy in common. Again, if you don't know what that is, reach out. I'm happy to explain it. Uh, HOA fees are pretty low, about 500 bucks here for, for all of this. Uh, really fantastic deal. I mean, price per square foot, this is one of the best deals I've seen in the city. It's below $800 a square foot. This location, it's almost unheard of. So if you have any questions, you'd like to see this property, you'd like to set up a private showing, just reach out. I'm happy to help.